Meditation is a form of relaxation, a very advanced form. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Maybe I better go out the other way. Oh, yeah. Oh, I would. It's definitely a state of peace of mind. Maybe I shouldn't have put it on this t-shirt. Is it fun? <laughs> yes. So so. I guess. <laughs> well, today I had lots of fun sledding and I had fun today fun yoga. I really like the snow. Anything else? Uh, I like going flooding down the hill. Mais là c'était c'était tut tut refais-le. Tut tut et puis tut tut. Tu t'arrêtes. Ouais, encore un. Nothing but candy, nothing but kids. They line up at the door waiting to come on in. I don't know. I, I have to pay tax. What is this? <laughs> the elements of celebration and warmth and humor that are talked about as part of Shambhala vision are particularly brought out here. And having the children's energy is part of it, but then, you know, it's just it's hard to keep a strict schedule and, you know, the kids are always permeating everything. And, and it's just, I mean, it's this constant invitation to just let go in a totally delightful way. So you're taking a walking meditation and suddenly you have two children speaking in the shrine. And so you can say, okay, well, they're disturbing the meditation. Or you can say, well, that's great, they want to be in the shrine. Um, a basic goodness is what is inside of you and what is, is like, good about you. Yeah, thank you. So, <laughs> the Morning Horse Cantor's message of basic goodness through the pure white clouds. Everybody has basic goodness. It's mm -hmm. a, but when they're not acting so good and they're acting a bit mean or bossy, it's just that they're having a bad day. Yeah. Yeah, well, sometimes. That's what happens sometimes. Some people have bad days every day.